Hi everyone. So today we will see how to create a freestyle project in Jenkins. So usually we create some project and we will run locally like uh, by using the maven command or any project not only java project any project uh, you can run locally and you can verify the test try. The same thing uh, we have to run in the pipeline as well. Pipeline is like a continuous integration and continuous delivery right CICD. So Jenkins will help you to uh, run your test in the pipeline. So whenever the build happen or whenever the release go to the different different environments we have to run your test right so we can we can configure those things in jenkins uh, and jenkins is a open source as i mean uh, most of you know already right so how do we install jenkins and all you can uh, i mean it's very uh, straightforward you have to i mean we have two options for jenkins installation one is you can directly use the installer and one is jar file right where you have to install these things i mean uh, either installer file or jar file you can select so when you when you go for an installation no it will be very easily and very straightforward you can go for a, uh, i mean you can go through the uh, jenkins website and you can do the installation right so once you install we have to um, uh, map our build i mean um, map our project to run our build right so today we'll see that one so how to uh, create one uh, freestyle project and how do we run our maven project right so install the Jenkins okay so once you install like we have to do some setup like so the Jenkins has to understand where the Java is installed or where the Mavens is installed right so for those things we have to go to the uh, global tool configuration and we have to give the path right so this is my Jenkins you have to go to uh, manage Jenkins and go to the global tool configuration where we will uh, Okay, this is a, a global tool configuration. If you scroll down, you can see the uh, JDK installation, right? So I have installed JDK 11. So I've just given the uh, Java home path, right? This is where my JDK file uh, present. And next thing is like you have to uh, give the Maven as well. So you, I'm using the 3.63 version. You can use any version. And you have to given this uh, Maven, I mean, uh, the installation folder, right? So bin folder that, that I have uh, kept in my C folder. These two, two things you have to done and click on apply and save and so once the global tool uh, configuration setup is done you can come to the dashboard okay this is a dashboard view okay as per the document uh, we have done the setup now we have to create one new item by using the freestyle project right so come here click on the create new item right so here we can name as a freestyle project right okay so freestyle project and click on the freestyle project option and click on the ok ok once the project is created you can see uh, this is general description you can update anything here I mean uh, we can leave as it is so scroll down here you can see the git packet option right so we have to click on, on this advanced option and you have to check this uh, use custom workspace right so because we have to tell the uh, Jenkins where our project is placed right so that we have to check this uh, use uh, custom workspace option so click on that option we have to pass our project directory okay project folder directory okay so this is my folder so i am running at my uh, e drive right so i'm just copying this pay, i mean uh, path and i'm just giving to here okay so display name is similar to your project name if you want to change you can change it otherwise we can leave as it is okay so come to the build option right so in the build option uh, we have to select the invoke top level maven target right so that's what we have uh, stated in the uh, document as well right so in the six point we have to create i mean we have to select that invoke top level maven target option okay so that we have selected so since this is a maven project so uh, you can change the maven version if you want like so i have in, in the global tool configuration i have installed the maven version six point i mean three point six point three right so you can leave as a default so here we have to pass the command clean test right so since it is already maven uh, option we are selecting so we don't want to pass the MVN right so MVN we don't want to pass it so only clean test or clean verify any maven uh, run command you can pass it here and click on the apply and click on the save button okay once the project is saved now you can see there is a, I mean no workspace are, uh, as of now so now we can go to uh, build now option okay so we have to build the build now so by clicking on this build now option see the build is started so you can directly go to the console to watch out the console things i mean uh, watch out the outputs so when you do first time uh, there will be some maven uh, uh, dependencies from download from the central 
okay so once the downloads and everything is done so the test is started now now you can see the startup is coming right the chrome driver uh, started successfully so now the test is uh, started actually so here you can see now so the driver is started successfully right and running the test right so we are running the test and you are closing the test and you can see the build is success now okay so we'll come back to the project we can see this blue icon right so blue means uh, your build is successful so we'll go back to the project now and you can see here so it is in the blue color which means success right so now you can go to the workspace and you can see so whatever the folder that we have in the eclipse it came here right this is a workspace for this project so next next time you can you can simply go and you can build the project now okay the same thing i have done in the eclipse as well okay this is a project that i were running so here also we can see now uh, so i am just simply click on the maven test right so we'll compare the console uh, if it is i mean everything is coming as i expected or not right so again i will open the console in the jenkins right this is a jenkins uh, console we were getting like a startup running the test and we are getting the page of i mean title of the page right so here also our test is started so we can see here startup right so the page is launched and we can see running the test and title of the page right the same output on the console we are getting it here as well so our build is success now so now you can you can go back to your project i mean you can go back to your dashboard you can run it from the dashboard itself so this is a project that we created you can see this is in the blue color uh, if something is in the red color which means it's failed and something is uh, in the yellow color then you can say as a build is unstable right so now this is a project that we have created freestyle one so you can directly run it from here as well okay so you can trigger the build from directly here so now you can see the build is started now okay so now we'll get into the project and we'll see the the second build right so it is started so you can see in the dashboard as well so it will be running the state yeah so here you can see say so this uh, this uh, yellow i mean blue color is in progress right so the project is building now so we'll go to the project and we can see the console now again right so again the test is started now right so this many i mean uh, this is how we have to set up the i mean uh, project in the jenkins for the freestyle project okay there are so many uh, styles are available when you click on the new item right so we can create maven project or we can create the pipeline project right there are i mean multi configuration project there are so many projects we can create so we'll we'll see one by one so this is how we create a freestyle project in jenkins right so now we have created a project and we have executed our build was success our test is success right so now we have to publish the result to our jenkins right so when we run locally uh, we we some integrate third party reporting back in like extend report allure report and maven cucumber report there are so many reports are available right so the same report we have to publish in the jenkins as well right so in my previous video i have covered how to generate i mean publish the html report how to publish the test ng results and how to publish the cucumber report for cucumber project and all okay so it's all in my uh, youtube channel you can uh, please go and watch all the videos of generating the different types of report as well okay so that's all about uh, this video thank you guys